Hi, everyone. Welcome to day three of Phoenix 2.0's launch week here. My name is John. I'm a developer advocate team working on the Phoenix product, and I am really excited to walk you through our experiments feature today. Uh, this is a feature that we have uh, built out of some feedback that we got from, uh, from, from you all, from the developers using the product, um, building on the evaluation feature that we already had within Phoenix. So evaluators were something that was really useful for a lot of people. You were able to kind of attach different labels and evaluations to different spans that were run uh, throughout your system. Um, but what we were noticing is that uh, it made it kind of hard to compare performance over time as you're improving the prompt or swapping out a model, improving your model, kind of making these changes. You wanted to view performance over time, kind of compare different iterations. And so that's where experiments has come from, is it a feature that should allow you to compare performance over time as you iterate on your model, your task, your prompt, whatever it might be. So. What makes up an experiment in Phoenix? And we'll walk through what this looks like in a second. Uh, so experiments in Phoenix are made up of a data set here, which is a bunch of inputs that we're gonna use, kind of uh, different test cases that we're gonna check, a reference output that we might compare against. It could also just be the inputs if we wanna go for that approach as well. Uh, some sort of task, so it could be summarization, classification, whatever kind of uh, task we're running here. Um, and then some set of evaluators. So in the summarization example, this might be the root score that we're gonna calculate, it might be length of the output, token usage, some other kind of examples there. But evaluators could be anything you want. They could be pure like Python code that you wanna test. Uh, we've had people do string matches of exact text outputs and things like that. So it can be customized as much as you want there. So we're gonna take those three pieces and then we're gonna run an experiment testing uh, each of the different input rows against the task and then checking the evaluations on the output there. And then we're gonna iterate, we're gonna modify the task and we're gonna show what that performance looks like over time within the Phoenix UI. So let's jump into our example here. Um, for those who watched the video we had on data sets, we're gonna start from that last, uh, that last point. For those who missed it, what we're doing here is we have a summarization uh, setup that we're using, um, summarization agent, we're just uploading a data set from Hugging Face into Phoenix here. Uh, that's a bunch of news article summaries that we can view there. If I jump over into Phoenix and go to our data sets, you'll see we got our news articles that we're gonna run here. And so we're gonna go through and we're gonna run some experiments on this uh, summarization task. So first we have to define our task. And so what we'll do here is we're gonna define a kind of basic summarization here, just for using the chat completions uh, method to send in a prompt template into OpenAI with those articles. And then we're gonna start with a really basic example here for the summary uh, prompt. We're gonna use just summarize the article in two to four sentences. That's all we're doing. And we're gonna send in that task. Uh, and then we're gonna run a one, one example here just to make sure that that works. So we'll see that our task is working there. And then we get to define our evaluators. Uh, and so we're gonna use Rouge One here as our uh, one of our evaluation metrics, as well as the number of tokens that are used in the response. So we'll define those. And again, these could be whatever you want as the evaluation here. Uh, and then now we get to run our experiment. So I'll run that and then we'll look at what's being done as that's being run. So we're passing in the data set that we have of all those input rows. We're passing in our task, so metadata that helps us view these side by side, and then we're our evaluators. And so what's gonna happen is each row of that data set is gonna be sent into the task. It's gonna be run through that task and we're gonna take the output of that task, so the summary in this case, and we're gonna pipe it into our evaluators. And you'll see, we could click on the link here to view that. I'm just gonna jump into the UI, go to our experiments, and you'll see we now have our first experiment showing up. So it's got our title and description. You can see the tokens that are being used, all these different evaluation scores that we had here. Uh, and we could click into that and we could see all of the different um, kind of inputs, reference output, and then our uh, actual output from the task here. Uh, so if I go back there, um, so that's great, that's useful, we can see some of those scores, but really where this gets powerful is now we can go back to our notebook and let's modify our prompt, let's improve this here. So we'll go down, we're gonna, this case we're gonna add a little bit more detail here to say, okay, now be concise, just include the most important information. So we'll modify our template here and then we're gonna redefine our task here. And so in this case, we're just using that updated template and then same method, we're just gonna run our experiment again, see what kind of difference in results we get. So. It's going through, we run our tasks, we're gonna run our evaluations. And let's see if we flip back and forth here, we're gonna add in our new, now we've got our concise template against it. So you can see actually our number of tokens went up. So that's uh, not necessarily that great for that prompt. Uh, you can see some of our scores uh, have improved here. So that's, that's good, but look, let's actually do one more round of improvement here, just so we can see. Let's, let's go ahead and let's include some great examples of summarizations 
has a little bit of a few shot approach to improve our prompt. So what we'll do here is I'll run this and then we'll walk through it again. Uh, so we're going to pull out some examples from that how you face data set and say, hey, these are our, our great examples. Um, here is examples metric that we're going to use there. Uh, so you'll see it's going to print out some examples of what that flow looks like. And now, once again, redefine our task with that new prompt. We're going to run the experiment here and we'll see if we get any sort of improvement with, uh, with that few shot approach. So you can see we're pretty rapidly iterating on the task that we're going to do, and we're going to be able to view these all side by side within the UI as we make those changes. So now I can jump back over to the UI, flip back over here, and you'll see now you've got our fuchsia approach. So our tokens went down, uh, I guess, from our second one, so that's good. Um, scores went up a bit there, but there's probably some more improvement we could do. We could continue iterating on the prompt. We could swap out the model that we're going to use, all that's captured within the task so we could run any kind of different experiment variations that we wanted to. And so their powerful thing is if I click into this here, you'll see we've got the same view from before um, where we can see the detailed results and we could compare this side by side to, to another experiment we run. So we can actually get all three of our experiments in here if we want to. So you'll see we've now got our, our, our input, our reference output from the original data set that we're comparing against. And then we've got our three different experiment outputs here along with all their scores that we can compare side by side going down here. So you might actually, if you want to dive into the details here, you could even see which kinds of use cases or which kinds of, um, of uh, test cases are actually failing here uh, or improving. And we could go and click into this in more detail, view all of our experiments here side by side, uh, and then even go and check out the trace that this came from if we want to go into even more detail here and view where this came from. So hopefully you can see with this, we could modify that task really quickly, do really easy experimentation, kind of get things up and improving over time and kind of create that loop really quickly um, and view all of that within the UI, make it a very easy digestible thing to go and experiment and uh, test side by side here. Um, so we're really excited about this feature. Hop in and try it out. Phoenix is an open source tool. It's free to use. Check us out at phoenix.arise.com if you haven't already. If you have any questions, reach out to us on Twitter, X, in our Slack. We're really active there, and we'd love to hear from you guys. With that, thank you very much, and stay tuned for tomorrow, where we're going to continue launch week with another feature announcement. Thank you.